Hi, my name is Jan Ruyo, and I've been working for the Lego Group for 47 years. We worked on an idea to combine an old train wheel system with a new carriage that we made for the roller coaster. We wanted to experiment with making differentials in the new wheels so it would run better. This, of course, has to be tested. Hi, my name is Jonas. I've been working uh, for the Lego Group as a mechanical engineer for four years. And hi, I'm Alberto. I've been working as a designer with the Lego Group for four years. For the testing, we made a train existing of the heaviest train engine and the heaviest train uh, wagons we have had in our portfolio, simply just to put maximum pressure on the elements while testing them. The train we put on a test track consisting of all different track elements we got on our portfolio today. We made the train run for 200 hours to see how uh, the elements reacted to lots of play. And afterwards we compared the new elements to the old design and found out that they were performing very equally. It soon became evident that our previous train platform was simply not good enough for our younger kids and they would become very frustrated with the fiddly bits of actually uh, placing the wheel on the metal pin and also the actual uh, plastic used for the bearing was actually not offering the right amount of clutch that uh, we are used to here at LEGO. We worked closely with other products to ensure that the new bearing system used ABS plastic and had additional building opportunities. Unlike the old platform, this new platform actually enables you to build fully underneath. With the old platform, we had a total of um, four studs on the inner part of the train bearing but uh, with, because of the high impact polymer alloy used, it, they didn't actually offer a very good clutch. Uh, there was also a little um, stud right here on the tip, which actually didn't work. Um, and you did have the ability to lock from underneath, uh, but it didn't really offer very good clutch again, so there's not a lot of uh, secure building here. The new platform actually has a full six studs all in ABS offering the full clutch that you're used to from Lego. Uh, the stud here is gone and uh, in addition to that you can still build the 1x4 space but you can also build fully underneath. We've also ensured that the high density polyethylene we've used for the wheels is bio-based which means it's made from plants. By cutting metal from the train bearing platform and making the wheels HVPE, it allows us to put the train bearing platform into more products, which means more trains. My name is Steen Deeman. I've been working for the Lego Group for 18 years, and most of these I have been working with testing prototypes. Let's do some testing. We have two lanes here. We have the blue one on the left with the old wheels and the red one on the right side with the new wheels. Let's go! What you saw on the test, it was that we were using our EV3 for measuring the numbers of round and the lap time. And we often use that setup for doing tests where we need to find out the speed and the battery consumption. And as you can see, the new system was a little faster than the old one. 